Okay, we're going to continue our web template tutorial here. And so we got our basic structure, our, our uh, navigational bar, and our overlay. Now I was thinking we're going to go ahead and add a slider. Or actually, let's, um, how we added the two pixel stroke on the overlay button, just edit that into a one pixel with the uh, marquee tool okay there you go now let's go ahead and open uh, an image for our slider okay so let's just go ahead and use this one okay now you want to copy your full image with control A to select the whole thing and then control C to copy it. And now go ahead and make a new group for our slider. We'll call it slider. And now go ahead and paste your uh, your image into our template. Now you want to control T, you want to transform your image so it fits um, perfectly into the slide into the our template okay now depending on what kind of picture you got you wanna not really make it too thick depending on uh, depending on how wide oh how wide or what the with the height or yeah how wide your template is okay so go ahead and delete that and then paste your uh, selection okay now you want to leave about a pixel of space between the navigation bar <clears throat> and your slider image and probably add a inner shadow so double click your slider image select inner shadow okay then let's put the distance at zero and lower the opacity a little bit okay so pretty basic now let's add a couple of uh, buttons on the side of the slider. Uh, you want to make them a square or a circle, kind of a simple shape. So it's just this perfect right here. Okay, so we already have a new layer. Make sure you make a new layer. And let's do a gray, a dark gray. <clears throat> Okay. Now, maybe maybe a little bit lighter. Okay. Now, depending on how much buttons you want to put, just duplicate uh, your square. Okay. So we'll put three. Let's go ahead and align them a little bit better. Okay. And then why don't we do a, an, an overlay on one of the buttons. So go ahead and select load selection with a button selected. Okay. Now let's go ahead and fill that with a blue color. Okay. Okay, now maybe make the opacity a hundred percent and let's add a gradient overlay to that and set our blend mode on overlay. Oh uh, hold on a second. Let's see. Or 
Actually, soft light works a little bit better. Okay. So now we have our slider, our navigational bar, our buttons. Looking pretty good so far, I think. Okay. So if you guys have any questions or anything like that, just leave a comment. And if you like the tutorials, make sure you subscribe. Okay, and we're going to move on to the next video.